to Chad Strand's real estate website. If you're buying or selling, he can help. His website is designed to guide you through the process. Call Chad today for a free no obligation appointment. 612-849-4600. So is there something that Hollywood doesn't get about America? Joining me now, 2017 People's Choice Award nominee, Tim Allen. Yes, there we go, yes. Who stars in ABC's, thank you, Jess, yeah. better late than never. It stars in ABC's Last Man Standing, which airs on Fridays at 8 p.m. Eastern. This is your chance. Show him the, show him the jacket. Uh, oh, Look ow. at this promo, ABC. Whatever you're paying him, it's not enough. It. Ow, I ABC, can't. 8 p.m., there we go. Got it. That's what it's all about. I got to go. So, so. Gigi Hadid right. mocking our next first lady, appropriate or not? I don't think it's appropriate in that venue. But again, this is a it's a I, I'm not a spokesman for Hollywood. I'm, I'm a comedian, <laughs> right? So I, I I get to tour around the country and I do comedy and I do a show that leans. We have a point of view. I think your character is a conservative. Well, a point of view, but it's written by liberals. We have a liberal staff. We have that goes without saying. That's that's redundant. But they they we have a sense of humor about ourselves, and there's a point of view, and there's a. a place to do it. What I think is, what I find odd in Hollywood is that they didn't like Trump because he was a bully. But if you side, if you had any kind of inkling that you were for Trump, you got bullied for doing that. Mm -hmm. And that's where this, it, it gets a little um, hypocritical to me, is that you, you can now bully people. And you're always on the defense with this. But mostly what I'm finding is there's no source material. For, for comedians, like if I want to find a joke on the show, we, we go up river to find the, the joke, and there's no, like, they, this, he was against homosexuals somehow. And I said, Where did you, whoever, Donald Trump? Yeah, whoever said that? And he didn't he wave the flag at the, con, the convention, yeah, the LBGT mm -hmm. flag? Mm -hmm. And I said, That was an unusual. They've got to beef with Mike Pence on that, but Donald Trump, but, no. but, but, but a close association to him, I don't see it. And so he said, well, I can't make a joke about it. I feel like we're playing that game I played when I was a kid at telephone. Did you ever play that in yeah, high school? Of course. Where you say something at the beginning. And that's what's happening. It's only funny to me because I'm a comedian. I can do this. But it's very difficult in Hollywood to find anybody, any source material that how, would. Well, how are you surviving there as somebody who's, you know, you know, on TV as a conservative? Well, I might not after tonight. Outing himself as open to Donald Trump's ideas because there are a lot of actors I know many of them who are part of the Hollywood conservative underground and they do not reveal that well, they lean right at all I I'm really an anarchist that's how, that's how I look at it. As comedians, I don't like anybody tell me what to do. Period. I know, but people still object to that. If, if they find out you support Trump at all, it's like you you smell bad, especially I, in Hollywood. Believe me, I've had these. They're not even discussions. You get bullied into a position. I don't want to defend the guy. I can't. He's, he said stupid stuff. He, to me, sometimes he, he acts like a new talent comedian. If you've ever been to a new talent show at a comedy, there's guys that have great material that have very, very bad comedy timing. And he's got <laughs> terrible timing. What do you mean? Well, he'll see, he says stuff that could be. George Lopez, and I hate to doubt George, he said a joke about, he was against the wall. Years ago on stage, it was real funny about, we, we got to build a wall. And I, uh, forgive me, George, I, I, but the Mexicans will have to build it. And that was the joke. Donald says it, or uh, expectant president? President elect Trump. President elect, expected president. <laughs> I guess that would be kind of weird, wouldn't it? If he actually was expecting. <laughs> well, who knows? But he, sometimes he doesn't say things. I, I give him the benefit of the doubt. A lot yeah. of comedians we watch it go, God, if you just gapped that a little bit, it might have been funny. And he may, in fact, be a guy that wants to be funnier than he is. That doesn't matter. I look at a larger view. I don't like people telling me what to do. If you think this government works good the size it is, I'm one of these guys, just make it smaller. Mm -hmm. who, who on that DS wanted to make it smaller? I'm not so sure that he does because he has, a, well, he has a long line of being a Democrat, but at least it was a shot at making things smaller. I, I don't know, physical realist or fiscal realist, rather. What about all the infrastructure spending he wants to do and he doesn't want to cut entitlements other than Obama I don't know, then you get these little, these little red flags go up. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> sure, I'm not sure what, what exactly has happened. Certainly for a Democrat, you should be happy about this. He's not that, some of those spending... They could have wound up with Ted Cruz. They, <laughs> Don't start that. When you're talking about social issues, I mean, they would have liked him a lot less. Well, somebody than said one comic, it looked like he had a milk allergy, the way he talked. He had some, there was, <laughs> he's got to take some antibiotics or something. Didn't he, didn't he seem like he had some kind of, got to like, <coughs> do one of these things. That... <laughs> Poor Ted. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. Tim Allen, and uh, the show is actually very popular, Last Man Standing, up for People's Choice Awards. You've got our vote. Yeah, there we oh, go. Wait, wait, let me give Better you a joke. Never. Can I give you a joke? Yeah, great. Th this is what I said. That, that they're making L L.A.'s come up with safe space for people that voted for Trump. They, they're in that area. They want a safe space. They're calling it Texas. <laughs>
Thank you. I like it. Somebody got it. Tim Allen, everybody. Thank you, sir.